everyone and thank you once again for joining me on a shell finding adventure. The first shell I've spotted today is a small one. It looks pretty unimpressive on the top, but yep, as I expected, it's got some nice yellow and orange on the bottom. It's definitely some kind of faded uh, Palmer Duster cowrie. I think it might be another Humphreys cowrie. Oh, that looks like a very, very pretty crown cone. I know I say it a lot. Ooh, gosh, that is a very nice crown cone. Or crowned cone, I should say. E.D. on the end. Ooh, yes, indeed. Very, very cool colors. I just spotted another lovely crown cone right here. This time he's pink. Got a little of his, ooh, his little outer layer on the outside of it. Very, very nice. But, uh... Right next to it, I almost missed it. Right here. Oh my goodness. He needs a bit of a clean up, but I've got myself a worm cone. Wow, he needs a lot of clean up. This guy's gonna look lovely and black and white once I'm all done with him. What is it cone day today? Look at that one just hiding there. You, oh, it is whole. Oh, pick that one up. Yes, it's a little Hebrew cone. Wow, I don't think I found it. Oh no, I found a Hebrew cone the other day. I just feel like I haven't found too many lately. Gosh, that is a cute little guy. Oh, cool. Look at that one just sitting there. Oh, I don't see a crabby in it. Oh, that's surprising. Usually the crabs find these top shells. Gosh, isn't that a lovely top shell? I don't usually find many unoccupied. Yeah, very, very cool. And usually when I do find them, they're all worn away. But this one seems to have a lot of its patterns still on it. Yes, indeed. I would like that one, please. Oh, oh it is whole. Oh, look at the color of that one. Oh my. What a lovely prickly spotted droop. Also called the, uh, the gold ring droop because of its gold ring around the mouth. That is absolutely lovely. I have not found one in quite a while, I think. Right there. I think I see something good. I just got to get down to it. Is it one of those purple floaty boys from a while ago? Oh, it is. There we go. It is one of those purple floaty boys from a while ago. Wow. The shell is a little bit cracked, but for sure I'm going to keep that one. Oh, hello. Hello, no one spotted that bonnet down there yet. Got to grab that somehow. Woo, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Oh, don't tell me. I, oh, there it is. Ooh, almost lost it. I think it got closer to me. Let's bend down and grab it. Oh, wow. That is an exceptionally lovely banded bonnet. Oh, got to get out. Ooh, there we go. Woo. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Look at the impressive color on this banded bonnet. This is like, without a doubt, probably my 100% best banded bonnet ever. I think the, uh, the scientific name is Phalium Banditum or something like that. Super nice. OMG, yes. Arabian. How do I get down there? Gosh, that is deep water. Oh, uh, do I just, and there's a strombus there. There's a bit of a strombus. Gosh, do I just jump down? I reckon I do. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Ooh, are you alive? No, you're empty. Wow, look at that one. A very worn away Arabian cowrie. Let's see what my jumping down also dislodged. We have another cowrie. Where'd that strombus go? A bit of a strombus as well. Woo. Awesome. Oh, wow. Look at that one right after the Arabian. Oh my goodness. Let me just step up in case the water comes. Wow, look at that gorgeous spotted deer cowrie. Also called a calf cowrie, Pacific deer cowrie, milk spot cowrie. They got lots of names. Woo, what a great find. Oh, finding a lot of these ones lately. It is a stilita cowrie. I found three of these yesterday. I'm being super lucky with these ones. They're usually a pretty uncommon find for me. Very nice. Uh, yeah, the scientific name is Bistolita stilita, or maybe bistolita, I'm not really sure. There was a cowrie down there I was a little curious about. I can't see it now. Oh no, wait, there it is. Oh, that's very deep water. Oh, wow. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, up, up. Woo. I'm not really sure what this one is. Oh wow, I thought it might have been like a, a juvenile snakehead, but it's too long for that. It, it's um, maybe it's a juvenile or like a subadult uh, erosa. God, I've got no idea. I'm just waffling at this point. It's very lovely though. Oh wow, is that another one of those chestnut banded moon snails that I like? Ooh, gotta get over and get that one out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just off camera this one, I think. Oh boy. Whoa. Wow. Oh my goodness. This one looks just as good as that one a few days ago. Whoa. Okay. Whew. Okay, I'm up. Oh, that was a very tough spot to get in and out of. Oh my goodness. We have the chestnut banded sand snail. Different from my last one because he's got a bit of an interruption in his band right there. Super duper lovely and cool though. I am stoked. If you didn't watch the last one, this was actually my favorite from, um, from when I found this one last time. So yeah, just a super cool shell. Oh, look at that one waiting for me. Oh, oh wow, oh okay. Oh, I didn't think he would have his lip. I did see the hole in him. Gosh, that is a pretty Campbell Strombus. Definitely like that one. I always enjoy finding these, even if I don't find them quite whole. And I'm not sure what this thing is, but you guys are probably wondering. Um, looks like some kind of oyster shell. You know, actually, that's pretty cool. I wasn't gonna take that one, but I think I will now. You are kidding me. I literally just stepped right there and looked through this pile not five minutes ago. The changing sands must have shifted to expose the Arabian. Oh my goodness, yes. It is empty. Wow, I've been finding a lot of Arabians on this side of the lighthouse lately. Oh my goodness. I think this one is just like very, very tumbled and worn, just like the first one I found. But still, it's really, really cool. I always like finding Arabians. It's, it is, it is still there. Here we go. Oh, look at that Arosa. Oh my goodness, that is extremely green. Hope it's being picked up on camera all right. That is just absolutely a lovely color. Oh, 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 oh my God, oh, is it whole? What? Whoa, look at that. Wow, I just saw this much of it exposed. I didn't actually think it was almost a whole magnificent volute. Wow, and yes, of course, as always, missing the tip with these things. But my goodness, look at the size of that one. That is so cool. Like, like how long was it stuck in that little hole down there? Oh my God. But what's this? What's this? Oh, what's this one? Oh, look at this strange thing. Hold on. Oh, wow. Is it some kind of pen shell? I found a very big brown one of these before, but this one's a beautiful pink color. You can't really see it against my fingers today because my fingers look extra pink in the overcast weather. My goodness, it's obviously lost a little bit. I think it's like a bivalve, so those um, sides should match up. But oh my goodness, look at how cool this thing is. It's um, it's pretty hard, it's not flexible. It's definitely a pen shell of some kind. There's not really any sun today, but you can see it's kind of see-through like a pen shell is. Very, very nice. I feel like I keep finding crazy things, but that doesn't mean I don't like the, uh, the regular stuff too. Got myself another lovely snakehead cowrie. Yes, bonnet, are you whole? Ooh, how had nobody found that today? Oh my goodness, I'm kind of at the back and that was just buried under sand. Awesome, another lovely whole checkered bonnet today. Gosh, there's lots of bonnets today, actually. Holy Jesus Christ, superstar everything. Oh my goodness, what is that? And is it alive? And I'm going to get it right, 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 ooh, right meow. What are you? Oh, it's not, it's like wedged but not stuck. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. All right, let me get back up. All right, I'm back up. Ooh, look at that thing. My goodness. It is a giant hairy triton with a lot of its hair still on it. The hair is called the periostracum, um, I think is what it's called. Very, very cool. It's obviously why it gets its name. But oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting to find one. 
and not like and not find one intact and this one looks like freshly emptied too because it's still got all of its periostricum that is that is absolutely incredible that's going to come up so well in a bleach bath wow well that also wasn't there when i came through about an hour or two ago it's a Spangler's Triton, I believe. I have a lot of trouble telling these apart from shouldered Triton, so it could be a shouldered Triton for all I know. Oh yes, oh yes, I haven't found many Arosas today. I did find that very nice green one though, but this one looks very good as well. Look at that nice big dark spot on the side of it, I do like that. It's just a bit of a, of a paler color on top compared to that green one from earlier. Oh, what's that? Half calcified cowrie. Let's take a look. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness, everyone. This is my first lynx cowrie. Wow, you can barely see the pattern anymore because of the calcification on it. But yeah, for sure. Look at those lovely red teeth as well. This is a lynx cowrie. Wow, super excited to find one of those. I've always wanted one and just never come across them before. And right next to that lynx, yes, we'll pick it up as well. A blue cowrie. Just a little common one here, but let's take a look at him. Yep, yeah, beautiful rock snail. Just for the rock snail lovers out there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at that one. Oh, boy. There must not have been many shellers on this side of the beach today. Yeah, just rocks in there. That is a lovely muricate cone, also called the bruised cone. Absolutely fantastic. I love finding these and it is an, in an awesome condition. You have got to be kidding. How am I so lucky today? What is this one? Oh, I thought this was a captain cone, but it's not. Wow. Wait, is it a Captain Cone? It looks different. It doesn't have enough white stripes on it. Okay, possibly a Captain Cone, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I do like that. Wow. Right next to this guy, I almost missed it. There's just a little Strombus here. Oh wow, that's a nice pattern on him. A little, uh, a little Bear Conch is the uh, common name. Very nice. There's a bonnet down a creepy hole. Do I want it? Oh, I should have gotten my tongs out for it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got it. Oh my God, it's actually whole. Ooh, well, there we go. <laughs> I wasn't pooping bricks at all. Guys, I kid you not. I'm just walking and stuck right there. Oh, he's a live one. No wonder he looks so good. Mr. Cowrie? Yeah, Mr. Cowrie, are you going to be okay there? He seems happy enough. Um, the tide will come in in a few hours, so uh, I think he's safe to leave, but oh my goodness, I was not expecting to see him just there. I have decided to move him to the water just in case he is struggling. He does seem fairly dry on his top. There you go, buddy. I'm sure you'll be much happier right there. Oh my God, everyone, here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please, as always, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. But uh, guys, I don't know where to start. This was just an exceptionally lucky day. I just put out this like violet uh, snail and I was like, wow, I forgot I got that uh, with all the excitement of everything else. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's been a long but glorious day. But for now, let's talk about a favorite before we all head off. And I wanna know which ones were your favorites too down in the comments. Um, but my favorite, like I, I don't even know where to pick. I really like this um, banded bonnet. It's probably my nicest banded bonnet ever. I think that is exceptionally lovely. Um, I won't speak too much about the volute. Unfortunately, he was a bit broken, although I do like it a lot. I will give a special mention to this pen shell. I think it's a baggy pen shell. It is just very, very cool. Kind of see-through when you hold it up to the light. I really like that. I love the color too. I don't know if it's coming through as, as much as it could on, um, on the camera. Um, and yeah, I don't want to call this one the favorite just because last, uh, the two videos ago it was a favorite, but I absolutely love this shell as well. My favorite, and 
this is going to be a bit controversial because it's not that pretty. I kind of really like this cowrie, question mark. It's, um, it's got this like lovely gloss and weird texture on it. And I don't know what it is. I thought it might have been a sub-adult erosa. Uh, I'm not sure because it does look very much like almost an adult. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a lovely cowrie. Out of all the cowries today, I can't believe I'm picking that one, but there we go. And before I leave, if anyone has any tutorials or uh, advice about how to get the calcification off of my Lynx cowrie, which it very nearly was a favorite if it wasn't so calcified, please let me know down in the comments and I will hopefully be able to clean this up without using acid. Let me just cut in here to say, I fixed the Lynx cowrie. Let's take a look at it. Here we go, it's the same Lynx carry that you just saw super duper calcified. I spent about an hour using wet sandpaper on it to get this kind of finish. And it only worked because cowries are naturally almost untextured and already very glossy. So it might also work on a moon snail, but it certainly wouldn't work on a triton shell. Anyway, I am very lucky that it did retain so much of its beautiful colour and pattern underneath. So there we go, a little bonus for you guys who've watched to the end of the video. Thank you so much for checking out my absolute favourite today, which was the Lynx Cowrie. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Put you on the cowrie? No. <laughs> Doesn't even deign me with a glance. Put, put no, come back.